Hello everyone, hello ham operators. Good day to all of you. This is for Fox 2 Stroke November 7 Shara in the X-ray Portable 1 from DX1 ARM and uh, DX2 AFP. So um, basically I'm showing you this video just to share the knowledge uh, that we acquire and thanks to uh, the person who introduced this device and the Hamshak hotline to the Philippines which is Dr. Jason McDonald uh, with the call sign of uh, Nancy to Tango Papa Alpha and local call sign or Philippine call sign DU1 Papa so he is the one behind uh, uh, who introduced Hamshak hotline here in the Philippines and um, I, I believe uh, there is a few uh, ham operators already is using this uh, device and we are actually enjoying it so without further ado uh, let me show you on how I am connecting to the DX1 ARM repeater system uh, using its digital so basically I have here the DX1 ARM VHF the 2 meter band and the DX1 ARM 70, 70 centimeter band which has a Hamshak hotline RF link that is what they call it so the DX1 ARM 70 centimeter uh, the Hamshak hotline RF link is 94015 that is 94015 and then for the DX1 ARM 2 meter band is 94119 that is 94119 so basically it's either you have to press this button to connect to DX1 ARM DX1 ARM 2 meter band and uh, UHF band or 70 centimeter or you can just directly dial the number here to connect to the digital repeater system or, or the all star link node so if I will dial uh, the 2 meter which is 94119 or the UHF repeater system which is 94015 it is actually connecting to the all star node so let's try it. So the 518251 number that you've heard from the voice coming from the Cisco device was the All Star Link uh, node that is connected to the RF link came from Hamshak Hotline. So we are now connected to the digital repeater system of um, uh, DX1 ARM on 70 centimeter and how are you going to transmit a signal to the digital node all you have to do is just press the PTT so by pressing the PTT you have to dial the asterisk followed by 99 so you have to press asterisk and then 99 so you are going to transmit if you want to end your transmission all you have to do is just to press the pound key okay so um, I'm not so sure if this early in the morning if someone is already monitoring on the 70 centimeter band but we can just try it right Good morning everyone. This is 4 Fox 2 Stroke November 7 Shera in the X-ray Portable 1 listening. So let's wait for maybe around 10 seconds. Okay, so there's no response. We have to try again. Once again, this is 4 Fox 2 Stroke November 7 Shera in the X ray Portable 1 listening. Good morning, Army. Okay, so most probably no one is uh, uh, on monitor right now or maybe busy driving on a uh, traffic jam in the middle of the traffic jam it's already 7 23 in the morning actually all right now so 
what else we can do with this uh, connection? We can actually do a bridging. Oh, someone is responding. So let's respond to DU2XXR. Hello, good morning, DU2XXR for Fox 2 stroke, November 7th, Sherry and the X-ray portable, portable 1. So I believe you are in Boni Serrano right now driving. So that is actually um, what I'm expecting. So I am actually creating a video right now. <laughs> so you are online live. <laughs> So I, I'm going to share this to uh, some people on how to connect on the digital uh, all-star link repeater system. Over. Roger that, DU2XXR, four fax, two stroke, November 7, Sherry Index, reportable one, uh, Natalich, uh, station, uh, brother Angelo on mobile, and ingat ingat kajan lagi. So I'm just uh, creating this uh, content for uh, just to share the information about the Hamsha hotline. And yeah, actually, I'm expecting that you're driving anyway. So ingat ingat lang jan lagi, over. Roger that. Acknowledge your station ID 1 station of DU2 XXR on mobile 1 on uh, Bonnie station uh, on mobile uh, proceeding to QTH at Quezon City experiencing a light to moderate traffic situation there. So, ingat ingat and 73. Magandang umaga sa'yo brother Angelo. So, I'll just uh, continue creating this content video. Uh, it is actually recording now. So, that's it. Magandang magandang umaga sa iyo dyan. And take care. 73. Over. Frequency clear. Alright. So, that is the station of DU2XXR or uh, Brother Angelo. So, he has actually also the... Um, uh, device the Cisco SPA 525G2 version uh, and also having this um, uh, soft phone so we both enjoy the uh, communication uh, using this device so that is how are you going to uh, connect to the digital RPT or the all to the all-star link and um, if you want to end the call uh, from the device you have just simply to press the end call button so right now even i am talking no one is no one can hear me because i did not press the ptt which is the as series 99 to press the ptt or to end the ptt or release the ptt you have only to press the pound key so that's basically it now there's another thing that you can do using with the Cisco SPA 525G. You can actually interconnect or bridge a two repeater system. Let's say I am connected right now to DX1 ARM 70 centimeter. And if let's say I want to connect to DX1 ARM 2 meter. So all I have to do is to press the asterisk followed by the three and then followed by the uh, all-star link node 
So again, if I want to connect both repeater system, which is the UHF and the 2 meter band, I have to press the asterisk followed by number 3, which is the prefix, and then followed by the DX1 ARM 2 meter all Starlink node. So when I uh, do this um, pr uh, dialing procedure, I am actually bridging both um, uh, two repeater systems. So if I am going to press the PTT, the asterisk 99, I am transmitting actually over the two repeater system, which is the UHF uh, uh, repeater system and the VHF repeater system of DX1 ARM. Now, if DX1 ARM 70 UHF uh, will transmit in um, uh, using the digital uh, also link, you can also hear it from the VHF um, uh, VHF band. Now, I am not doing the bridging. It is because there is a risk on uh, overlapping the signal and it is not uh, very respectful to do that. So, I am just trying to explain it. And um, there is a particular purpose for this uh, bridging two repeaters. If, let's say, you are making an announcement uh, to all of the all-star node that is connected to your station, so to announce to everyone. So let's say, for example, Para, if they, if Para wants to announce to all the all-star link node. Uh, repeater system in the Philippines then they can do it using this Hamshakat line through RF link so you can connect all the uh, node that you want to be connected and then you are heard to uh, repeat the digital repeater system that is connected to your um, uh, Hamshakat line so Another thing is, if you want to go to, or let's say you want to jump to another station, all you have to do is after you connect uh, to DX1 ARM 2 meter or your another repeater system, which is VHF, since we are connected to UHF, all you have to do after you connect, after you are connected to the 2 meter band, you have to disconnect the UHF band so that if you're going to transmit you can you can be heard only from the two meter band instead of the 70 centimeter band so how you are going so how are you going to disconnect the uhf which we are connected this one so after connecting to the two meter band all you have to press is asterisk followed by one and then the all star link node number of the two meter band or i'm sorry or uh, the 70 centimeter band so by pressing one disconnect pressing three is connect so you have to remember that all right so that's basically it on how to connect to the digital uh, repeater system or to, or to the all-star link <coughs> So, if you have any questions, you can just uh, message me or uh, just uh, uh, call me. <coughs> and inubo na tayo. So, I have to drink water muna. Okay, so thank you very much for listening and watching this video. Uh, soon, I'm going to do more videos like this to give you a tutorial uh, on the other features that uh, Cisco have. Thank you very much and once again, good morning.